My name is Gomeo Babalu. I am 54 years old. I am from the Zuni Pueblo, from Zuni, New Mexico. We are located about uh, 45 miles south of Gallup, New Mexico on I-40. Today in my life, I am a uh, silversmith. My focus is uh, Indian jewelry. I do lapidary work. I do a lot of uh, traditional Zuni motifs and uh, that's where most of my energy and uh, my healing aesthetic uh, come from. When I think of the Europeans coming into our land, I think about the king and queen of Spain coming into what is now the Americas to claim a sacred land for their own people and to wipe out a different race, our race, the indigenous race, the red race, the Indian race. We are many nations. Today my narrative is about Mother Earth, pagan before Christianity, to come to the new world to share the promise of the glory and the riches in search of the seven cities of gold to conquer. That is not our narrative anymore. We've seen too much genocide in present day with the gun violence that you see. We are not going to assimilate to the current state of the political affairs. So that's why we have to speak up against Columbus. Our lives did change. Everybody needs an Indian guide. Today I choose not to be anybody's mascot. I don't want to be used by anybody else. So today we take our narrative. We abolish all kinds of intradas of oppression, death, and genocide. I want to leave a message of hope for the people that we're going to be leaving behind in a hundred years from now. Today I'm a grandfather. I have two little warriors that I'm very proud of. They come through my bloodline and I'm very blessed. It is for them that I will be an honest and decent person as I can. Today I am the seed of hope. With my voice as an artist, I am able to express myself. I have the power within my being to heal others with my art. And that is the sacredness that I keep whole, the sacred fire that I cherish and keep to myself, that I would like to expose a little bit of our indigenous knowledge and why we have to return back to the earth. How do we rise above all this stuff? This is like history repeating itself. And we use our voices to stop the bloodshed. Keshin, this is my nana, my nana tsana. His name is Ezra. We are resilient. I wanted to let you know that I don't think we're going to be going anywhere anytime soon. So we, ch we pass on the songs, chants, and prayers to the next generation so that they're able to sustain themselves in times of. Uh, political turmoil. Otherwise we just stay out of the politics and just continue on with our tra traditions of the cosmology that our ancestors have set forth before us. And so otherwise one day I will be on your side of the world uh, sharing a little bit of our knowledge and what we continue to strive for. So anyway this is my little Nana. I just wanted to let you know that we are resilient and that we will continue. Don't take on our chat to a laquan.